Tell us a little bit about EduSign, Matt, the business itself, what you guys do, and, and then also with your collaboration with the Free State Education Department and the sort of success story that's followed. Great stuff. EduSignMet is a uh, subsidiary of a group called the Talents Investment Group and uh, we focused in education, specifically focused in uh, maths and science. And uh, what we've done is we, we do maths labs and science lab. And the Free State was the first department where we've uh, we did a pilot of 200 maths labs and 200 science labs. So uh, basically what we do is we take a normal classroom and we turn it into a maths lab and we turn it into a science lab and obviously the concept was born from after traveling to India and seeing why India is producing such a lot of engineers and they we all BRICS companies and as South Africa we're not doing just as good and uh, basically we're just trying to make maths fun we make trying to make in science fun so as and when you walk into this classroom for a child can just walk in and be interested in mathematics and be interested in science they can touch and feel mathematics and mathematics becomes a reality and not just a taboo like everybody knows mathematics to be. I'm very interested in, in the work that you've done in the Free State because the results are clear there for everyone to see. Just tell us about the program specifically in the Free State and, and why do you think it's, uh, it's been so successful? Basically, why, we, why the Free State is we've actually gone across the country and obviously presented this to other MECs in other, in, in other provinces. However, as you guys know, that um, the, 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 um, the MEC that couldn't make it to there, unfortunately, um, is known as a mathematician. They call him a mathematician because he's quite passionate about maths and science itself. Yeah. So uh, we actually traveled to India with, with the MEC to actually show him what India does um, in terms as far as maths is, is concerned. And I mean, in India, we when you get 84%, you are actually questioned as a child to say, why 84%? Is there something wrong with you? And, uh, and in, in him going to India and actually experiencing this, he actually saw children solving a quadratic equation through using manipulatives, which is one of the tools we have in the maths lab. And after that, he actually said, you know what? This has never been done in South Africa. I'll be the first to pilot it in South Africa. And hence why he, he actually got, got the interest. And we've piloted over 200, which was in 2011. We launched the first maths lab, which was in January um, in 2011. But till today, we're in the process of deploying over 400 maths labs in the free state. We've done over two, 200 um, mobile science lab in the free state. But it's not just obviously restricted to free state. We call upon all the other embassies and other provinces and private sector to invest in a product like this for obviously other provinces as well. Now with the success that you've had and, and, and the interaction between South Africa and India have always had very friendly, uh, friendly relations, uh, surely there must be a, a ideas now of, of extending this project all around the country and I'm sure there must be interest now from, uh, from other provinces. Yeah, no, definitely. The interest is there. I mean, we launched one maths lab in, um, in East London, um, which was last year, and it was in Cradock, one of the, the rural areas. And the interest was there from the HOD, the MEC themselves. However, the issue is budget. And now uh, we've actually had um, events where we call upon private sectors to invest through the CSI project, to invest in a project like this. Because, I mean, you look at the likes of uh, MTN or Vodacom or even Sassel that will become beneficiaries of these children coming out with such great results. I mean, we were, we were at the well done function yesterday and we had students that had 100% in mathematics, 100% in science and when it comes to firms like Sassel and uh, BHB Peloton they will be beneficiary of these children having such great results and studying um, obviously careers that will benefit them as, as a company. So over and above the interest that is there, the issue in our country is the budget and obviously this is where private sector can play a huge role in making sure that we deploy this across South Africa as a whole. Other than the financial aspect that you've just mentioned, what are some of the other challenges that we face uh, as a country mm -hmm. in dealing with issues of mathematics and, and science in general? I think one of the challenges which we've tried to tackle is the fact that from, I know, I'm, I'm sure if you go back to your school years, you were told mathematics is, is difficult. So um, without even trying, you go into a classroom with that mentality that mathematics is, is, is difficult. So, and, and, and you don't see it beyond a classroom. And I think the issue is, when, what am I going to do with mathematics in choosing it as a, as a subject? And therefore, the lack of interest in, 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 in mathematics and science in our children is, is caused by what people say to them. So with the maths lab and the science lab, the interest is aroused in a sense that when you walk into a classroom, it's interesting. And I mean, we've seen evidence where the interest is, 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 is has increased in such an extent that 
absenteeism is actually minimized uh, because it's so interesting. We've turned it, we've We've brought mathematics to life, to reality. And you see it beyond just the classroom now. When you go to tertiary, you know exactly what are you going to do with mathematics. Yeah. And I think the issue we had as a country is the mentality to say, what am I going to do with mathematics then after? Why maths? And, and I think with what we have done with our solution is we've brought it to reality. And I think that's where our issue has been as a country. You, you took me up but earlier, you took me back to my school years. I yes. actually gave up mathematics in about <laughs> ninth grade because uh, of, at the time, yeah. I didn't really connect with the mathematics yeah. teacher. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about this because it's quite a personal account for me. The role of the teachers within your programs mm -hmm. and, 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 and the sort of connection that you've got to have with, with the children in order to have success. Yeah. The role of a teacher, what we do after deploying the solution, because obviously, like we said, we, we, we renovate the classroom, we put the technology in. The role of the teacher is the, the, the math lab does not replace a teacher. It enables the teacher, obviously, to make their teaching interesting. So you move away from using what you used back then, a slate. I, I don't know if you relate, but a, 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 textbook, a textbook and obviously a chalkboard and into deploying technology that our kids today obviously relate to. You know, when you give your child a cell phone, they do things that you never even knew existed on, 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 on the technology. So the teachers, the way they teach, the methodology is more interesting. It's more fun for the, for, the, for the children. And therefore, there's less distraction in the class in that the children are interested in teaching. They're interested in the subject. And the technology, obviously, the manipulatives that they use, they are colorful manipulatives. And the classroom itself is colorful. So yeah. that way, the teacher has less distraction. We've got an interactive screen where the child can get up and write an answer on the actual screen yeah. so in terms of the teacher being equipped to actually make the class more fun for the children to enjoy that's what enables them and we train them as well we equip them we know some of the teachers obviously have a challenge of not being fond of technology but yeah. we do a thorough training ict training and we actually make them more interested in the subject so when they go back to the classroom they're more interested they are obviously more confident in front of a child and that's what makes the child more interesting and it makes the life of a teacher obviously much easier and, and with your program you know, the one narrative that's come out throughout is the role of the parents then at home and, and how the parents really have to lay the foundation mm -hmm. for the good results of their children. What, what sort of role does the parents play within your program? Uh, is it more a supervisory role at home or, or do they get to be actively involved? Um, when we talk to the teachers and the principals themselves, obviously what we try and get them to do is actually involve the community in a sense that um, as and when the math lab is deployed, they actually obviously need to inform the teachers in terms of letting them, being them making the, 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 the parents aware of what's happening in the ch children's environment. But over and above that, we actually want to take it to the next level. Uh, my team is actually in China currently where they're actually researching more on technology to try and get tablets that are more durable, water resistant. And we, we're trying to say over and above the classroom, let's bring this to actually a home environment where we've got a tablet that is durable for children to use at home, where they can take manipulatives at home and they've got the software within, within, the, within the tablet and they can take that outside the school environment and actually work with it at home as well. And that's our next step, obviously, taking it further outside the classroom. But um, currently, the, 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 the parents are fully aware of the classrooms at schools and um, they actually play a role in supporting the children and making sure that they actually enjoy their mathematics. Well, Kalisa, thank you very much for, for joining us today and congratulations on what has been a very successful project and we hope that the sponsors now line up and, and come to the party so that we can extend <laughs> it throughout the, the rest of the country. Great Kalisa job. Korba from EduSciMat, who've been working with uh, the Free State Government on their programs and of course, as you all would know, the Free State is now the top performing province